Hello YouTube, Last Galifrain here for some more The Walking Dead. We will be playing Episode 2, Starved for Help. Get that away from my mouse so it's not off. Wind. Oh. Any time now. I know who you are. Oh, I got another good one for you. <laughs> You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. <laughs> Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. <laughs> God. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you, but if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Okay. Here we are, in a forest. Apparently. Yeah. Daddy. Oh, three months later. Damn. Who is this? What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, yeah. except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're so, all hungry. No kidding. So we have a new... Part when I game? accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was gonna take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Oh, yeah, Mark. you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. You'll have to ask Lily. She's the one handling the rations. Or mishandling it, if you ask Kenny. He's just worried about his kid getting enough. I worry about Clementine, too. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? Nope. I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor end. They're still fighting. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got a family to look out for. So... He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're he safe in a big us. group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? He's an ass. Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. <laughs> he's an old racist asshole, yes. He's just an old racist asshole. Yes, he is. That's his deal. Well, he needs to get over that and start finding a way to pull his weight. Heart problems or not, we should all be out here trying to find food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Yeah, uh, that hurt. Knock me flat. Had a hurt, though. Just surprised she was able to get up after that. Get it, get it, get it. 
snatch a bird. Don't. Gunshot will bring walkers. One bird's not worth it. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm just really freaking hungry. Ah! Oh, Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. Didn't sound like Kenny. Didn't sound like anyone we know. guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that what guys why the fuck is there a bear trap out here it's okay we're not gonna hurt you don't listen to that ben please just let us go we're not a threat to you i can't right, chill out you, we'll try to help you but you gotta shut the fuck up thank you kenny it's fucked up We've gotta help you. please ben shut up my dad was special forces i know what i'm doing no, just see if you can You're get him out kid. after that you can leave us or whatever i don't care Please! Was he bitten? Was he bitten? That's... bitten? No! I swear! Good. Alright, then let's get him out of hurry, there. Hurry, please! Hurry! Oh, well... Lee, this has right. been altered. There's no release latch. Oh, that's fucked up. Oh, no. Shit! Walkers! It's now or never, Lee! Please! Get me out of this! Uh, Mark, get the boys back! Kenny, keep those walkers off of me! Why would somebody do this? Oh, we're gonna chop his leg off? Oh god. This is gonna get gruesome. Do something! No, no, no! Try the trap again! Anything, please! That trap's not gonna work, bro. You're just gonna bleed out. You won't be able to cover it. Ah, how? Oh, come on. You can't. Just cut it already. For taking so long, Lee. Thank you. And he's out. Cut David's three. Alive, grab him and let's go. Well, he's alive, so let's get out of here fast, please. They made too much noise. Get out. Behind you, Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move. What? Oh, he's puking. That's right. Run, you moron! Why, why does everyone do that? Drop to the ground and back up slowly. Makes no sense. Stand up, turn around, and watch where you're running. Not walking, running. You might make it alive. And by might, I mean they're like, super slow. You will make it alive. Dumb ass. Yeah, at least he's sort of carrying his weight. Mm, poor clown. Where's your hat? Everyone looks depressed. Well, he just looks pissed off as usual. Don't shoot. Climb, you might want to stop. Creating texture for him. Stop the ball. Thank you. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? 
saving people. Come on, what do you come think? On. God. What happened? Oh, what God. What's going on? I have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee! Yes? What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking minute? Hey, what no, your mouth? I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. Yes. The only Thank reason you. you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine. You guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Sure. Come over here and see what I drew. But, what? <laughs> no, I... Just come on, okay? You, know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. Damn. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? <laughs> You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's Aww. not enough for everyone. Good luck. Damn. You only have four food items for ten people. Half an apple, two cheese sticks, packets, and was that a power bar? Uh, yeah, two packets of crackers. Bag of turkey and an apple. Feel to the kids. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? See, I knew her hat wasn't there. Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Half an apple. An apple, Clem. I love apples. Thank you. Are there more? No, honey. That was the last one. Oh. Damn. Um... Enjoy it. You deserve it. Hey, Doc. Duck. How about a little food? Yeah, I'll give you some crackers. Here. Yeah! Oh, man, I'm so hungry! And his family appreciate it. Um... Yeah, Clara... Or Claire... Wait, what? Do I keep saying it wrong? Yes, Carly. Not Carla. Um, Ben, Matt, Lily, Kenny, Kenny's wife. Ah, too many people. Mm. 
Uh, uh, I don't know who. Alright. There goes Lily and probably Kenny. Here. Give her the crackers. I don't want anything from you. Damn. Fine, don't eat. Fine. Just gives me one easier decision. I can give it to one more person. Food to Kenny. Want something to eat? Jerky. Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yes. Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. The others know is I fed Kenny. God damn it. Save the last piece oh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Okay. How's it uh, going, Lee? From up here, it looks like you're playing favorites. Really? Gotta say that when I give food to your father, bitch. Yeah, she might be. Will you hold the damn board steady? Damn it! I'm trying. Stop I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Uh -huh. Look at the fence. It keeps the walkers out. Carly's been doing the bulk of the lookout duty. So Carly's lookout, but Matt and... I keep forgetting the old man's name. And Larry... Are fixing with the fence. I mean, everyone's basically sitting around, and Larry's doing some work, so I'll give him <sighs> the crackers. Here, Larry. Lily would want you to keep your strength up. That girl needs to quit worrying about me so much. Oh, Sorry, man. Matt. Just seeing the food is driving me crazy. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Oh, uh, well, it's still in the compound, so... Give it to Mark, because he Here, asked. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? He asked, Come on, Larry. and give he it did a not rest, do more man. work with Things the axe. Things are different. Being a racist is outdated. Oh. And that's what you think this is? Maybe. Is that what you told him? Yep. There, yeah, that's right. And what are you gonna do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. I'm really regretting giving him food. Really am. What is he doing with the axe? He's hammering in nails with the axe. Not such an easy job, is it? No. It's okay. I know you're still watching out for me. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. Yeah, of course. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. Nope. Ken! Lee! Come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. Damn. God damn it. So I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Ah. Let him go, Katja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. Very. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. Mm. What about the other kid? Oh, damn. Keep your 
Damn! And I should have kept it. Ow! Fuck! What am I supposed to be doing? No! Give it! Give it! Give it! Give it! You missed, you dick! How am I on the truck bed? Get the fuck off of me! Let's get back. Yeah, I am messing. Let's get away! Ow. Kill! Shoot it. No, don't shoot it! You okay? Yeah, thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, Racist. calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! You said he wasn't bitten! What? We asked you point blank, was he bitten, and you said no. He wasn't. Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife. What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. And now you know. Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know. I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Ew. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God... Back off! Whoa, oh, lady, relax. Uh, me and my brother, we we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. We, we don't want, want any, any trouble. trouble. Of course, uh, n neither do we. Uh, I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother, Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? Pretty badly. We got plenty at the dairy. Right. Food. Yeah. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out, see if it's legit? I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? So we need food, but we don't know. We need food? We don't know. We need food. More than we don't know. You've got a deal. I guess. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. How long is a while? So, this dairy. You guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Hmm. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Yeah. Does anyone else know? Larry. Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? I have no idea, so, um... It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not well, sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. 
It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? Macon. Um, yes, here we are. I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? Lily, Kenny, I am. It's a democracy. Um, I don't know. I couldn't choose in time. Fuck. How many people you got over there anyway? Nine, including kids, enough to defend ourselves. Change well, the kid here is our newest arrival, but we're all looking forward to some food. We really need it. Well, here's to helping each other out. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? What? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Oh. You Gary, you're always Fucking pulling this shit. Man, that's hell. Oh. Huh? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you! Fucking you knew we were hungry, and you guys were keeping it There's all There's only two of them. Oh no, there's Yeah, you know what? We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! Oh! Fuck you! Fuck you! Jesus! Asshole. The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Can we cut his head first? Smash it in or something. We don't need that to hunt us or come back later. No, we're just gonna walk away. All right. Here it is, St. John Family Dairy. Wow, it's nice. <laughs> Y'all oh. can see how we kept oh, this corn. place so safe. The fence keeps them out. You betcha, they fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Yeah, more like don't touch it ever a lot. Ever have any accidents? Nah, it's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? I've got things under control. Kenny's working on it. Lily's working on it. We work, we all work together. together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Nope. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Oh, Amazing. Biscuits. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend, and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone suspicious. for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? 
Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Uh, Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think yeah, about being sure a whole safe. group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. Alright, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what it's you can do. <laughs> Oh, nice. Nice to here. Talk to Andy. Let's say hi. 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 Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? Yup. No one fucks with us. Yeah. If anyone tries to fuck with us, they'll regret it. Well, protecting your people is important, but... In my experience, having that many guns around is when people get dangerous. Yeah, that's also a side effect. You will remember that. Great. Are we your first guess? Fix Mark that and perimeter. I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Fence reaches out very far. God damn. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. Why the hell did you have to tell him I thought he was a racist? As if tensions weren't high enough. Sorry, man. It just it popped out. I mean, you did admit it right to his face. Yeah, but... I try to be civil, at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. Found one. There's one. With an arrow in it. From Ugh. behind. Doesn't look like one of ours. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Yeah, look Maybe at Maybe the, the St. John boys are using this guy for target practice? No. Nope. Yeah, poor guy. I don't know who got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way, hope he was already dead. Disgusting. And now we push him. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can it's you imagine small. not having to worry about the walkers anymore? A fortress needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. And he knocked down the post. He is still holding on. Ugh. Huh. 
<laughs> Man, the fence burnt right into its hands. I think they fused together. That's nasty. Chop. <laughs> Chop. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Come Would have been dude. nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. Well, I'm hungry, I'm too, hungry so. too, Mark. Do you think they're gonna be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Damn. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. Uh, okay. Is it really a smart idea to go on the other side of the fence, though? If you're waiting for that guy to help, it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Little help here, Lee? Come on. Thank you. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Oh! That looks like the arrow that was in the zombie. What the 